happy guys it's a holiday it's a friday and we have a quarter break going on and so guess what where we are we are at the beach and this time we are at a new beach called as pantai gudel and uh, here you see it's beautiful right and what is the best part of coming on a weekday you hardly have anybody over here there's no crowd we just had one family around us uh, so let's just explore the place so here, as you can see, there are plenty of shops behind me, right, where you've got food, you've got clean toilets, and here we are. We found a school shack over here, right next to the beach, and we are getting ready for some nice barbecue. So Manish is getting the barbecue ready, and my daughters have already hit the beach. So let me show you what it is. It's just beautiful. There you go. Probably the shoreline is not as long as the one in Pantai Watu Letter where we usually go. But nevertheless, it's really cool. And there you can see my kids. They're already playing in the sand, trying to get into the water. Hi girls, what's up? What are you doing? I'm digging a hole. Digging a hole? For what? I don't know, for water in it and there is water in it. There is water in it, right. Every time. Oh. Be careful with that. And how do you like the beach? Awesome. Awesome. Oh, you're the beach one. The beaches in Indonesia can actually make you feel like you're in a private beach of yours. And uh, this is so awesome. Look. I think uh, after coming here, my kids have got used to, to these less crowded spots and now they're like we don't want to go when it's crowded they just love being by themselves at such a beautiful location i made a sand ball there's sand it looks like a ball throw it. but you've got to be careful um since it's close to the indian ocean the waves are pretty strong so you really need to be careful uh, we've come at a time where the high tide just kind of just got over and uh, yeah it's getting to a low tide and i'm sure we'll see a bed of rocks over here once it's low tide we need barbecue when we are at the beach so here you go the girls are already eating it ah. and let me show you how it's made Oops. i hope you can see that uh, so this time we forgot to bring our uh, the grill top the net kind of a thing but you know we had to make a way so I think indeed we found a good alternative and we're successful. Thankfully, we had got the satay sticks. So these are the satay sticks for kebabs and we could use that, thankfully. How is it? Mm. What about you, Anu? Yummy, super yummy. It tastes amazing. So, good. so it's actually giving us the, the tandoor flavor of like probably a tandoori chicken that we have in India. It's really awesome. The water has started receding. And, yep, it's quite a low tide right now and we are at the other end of the beach. I see it. Ah. Yep. But the waves can come any minute. It's quite a dangerous one. The waters found this small stream kind of a thing. And it is so hot. Yeah, it's like meeting the sea right here. We don't know the source of it. Okay, I'm getting out, I'm getting out. Just comes and meets the sea. The sand is definitely different. It's much more softer. Oops, I just just probably going in. And uh, the water is super hot. I have no idea from where it is coming, but I can see it. It's coming from somewhere there. Really cool, awesome place. We love it.
part of even the low tide is that you can just sit in the water like this and just relax. The water just comes up. Ooh, I can see. Oh. <laughs> So we're right in the water soaking yeah. ourselves and we're just enjoying it. We just love this. Over I here. know. Yay.